you know, I'd always figured the best way to survive in this hellhole would be to take care of my own. That being me. Numero uno. But then again, I'd always figured I'd never see the likes of the Great War again. Not in this lifetime. I say, you are what you eat, and I do love me some Mothman wings. Keeps the brain sharp, you know. Helps me make good choices, like keeping the locals off my back by helping them clear out unwanted guests and general disturbances. Speaking of which, earlier today, I got a call from an acquaintance, Miss Zulon. She'd been hearing of some strange noises out her way just past Watoga. I'm heading out on my travels now. But uh, got me thinking, surely it can't be another Scorch Beast. We took one down just the other day. They keep coming. It just doesn't make sense. But I've got an inkling. There's some kind of connection between them and the Scorched. Anyway, Zulon's setting up a trading post down there. Gonna hit her up for some more deets while I'm on my rounds. But first, it's time to take out the trash. Here we go. What have we got happening up here? There's something in a bit of trouble. Didn't even break a sweat. Well, you're struggling there, mate. Got some raider scum here. You gotta knock those guys out. They're bad news. As you can see here, we got uh, got some scorch lying around. That's one way to take him out. He's got a friend up there too. There we go. I'll be safe. Looks like we've cleared him out. Alright. Oh, we've got another fella over here. One day we'll get to the bottom of these scorch. They just they just keep on coming. through Helvetia. I haven't been down here for a while. Last time I was down here, actually there was uh, some festive bots. They seem to come around about once a year out of a deep sleep. Uh, things kind of get a little bit they're just a little bit crazy alright we got movement yeah I haven't got anything too handy for quiet kills
Sometimes these guys have got decent stuff on them. But uh, when in doubt, just take them all. Just take them all. Always collect the teddy bears. You never know when you're going to find some young'uns in this world. They, are, they all need something to smile about. Let's go eat up Zulon. When I arrived, Zulon and her crew were still setting up the post. Pretty impressive so far, and a top spot to rest some weary legs. As for Zoo, known her a few years now and I was always her first choice when she needed someone to trust with a big job. Her eyes lit up like a lighthouse full of fireflies when she saw me and was mighty eager to unload all that was worrying her. I could sense a fair bit of tension in the air, which at the time I thought was about whatever creature she needed me to take care of. But when she sat down, immediately I knew Zulon had other let's say, uh, priorities. Avoided the advances with the same mental agility needed for a sheep squat shard attack and kept the conversation on track, all the while knowing that it'd be best if I did not camp out here tonight. I mean, don't get me wrong, Zoo is a beautiful, intelligent and strong woman, but I just can't let my guard down. And even more so, I just can't stop wondering whether Lilu is still alive out there somewhere. I hit the road quick smart and continued on my way to the White Springs. Before I left, Zoo shared some intel about the Watoga area and said it's probably best that I have a chat with her friend Kathana, who's been trying to get things up and running down that way just had a couple of jobs to take care of first. Had a job from Coherent to go and take out some mole miners. And I think this is just the place he wanted me to, to suss out. Shit. Looks like someone's already been here. We've got another detective on the case, have we? Not on. Okay. All right, well, it looks pretty, pretty clear here. We'll check back next time. All right, we're just gonna mosey on in. We've got a good Good amount of protection here from the robot troops. Oops. But uh, you can never let your guard down, that's for sure. But let's just do a stroll through here first. You never know what you'll come up against. Alright, nothing moving at the moment. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, we've got someone else on the case. Yeah, a bit of a tough angle. We got there. He had no idea I was there. Jeez, I would have. Here we go. Alright. What well, I'd love to get one of these things going. Have a look at 
this. This would have been a beautiful set of wheels in its prime. Jeez, it would have been some rich folk around here. That's for sure. Not much happening uh, at White Springs at the moment, so let's uh, let's get moving. I've got to say one thing though, you know, along with the lifestyle I used to live, spent a lot of a lot of time in some some pretty seedy places. There's one one place I had to frequent a lot. It's a good good spot for. It's a good spot to, to gather information, particularly from uh, the high rollers, you know. The casino. The casino room at the White Springs. But uh, I think it's all locked up now. Can't get in there. Uh, named after it had a sister establ establishment called the Pink Bits. Which, uh, you know, the clients used to spend a lot of time at both the White Springs Casino and the Pink Bits. A place where anything happens. But, uh, I never felt, I never quite felt right there, to be honest. The old pink bits. Oh, jeez, I saw some stuff there, bloody hell. I heard it actually got nuked. Some time ago. I wonder if it's still around. Look, just, just, uh, just, uh, not, uh, you know, to tickle any of my fancies, but, you know, just to see if I can find some sources of information, as one does in this line of work. Eagles with the big boss. How about we take down the big boss first, huh? It's gonna get my sights right. Take that. Oh man, we've got floaters. Let him fight it out a bit. What, the floaters are your friends? Yeah, I'd like to see that, buddy. Alright, floaters. They're coming. Oh shit. Take the floaters out, you idiot. The floaters will take us all down. Are you crazy? You mate. Right, that's it. I see you. That's what the last person I killed said. Let's get in close. Oh, 
Let's do a little bit of a snaky. I bet he won't be expecting this. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. <laughs> Uh, Blood Eagles, it's all just a name. It's all just for show. Bunch of idiots. Between them and the Raiders. Yeah, where did that loot go? Ah. One good thing about vats. I don't trust vats when it comes to taking things out, but I tell you what, it's good for finding enemies. Gotta give myself to a workbench somewhere. Okay. Now, as I was saying, there's normally super mutants hanging around this place. And yep, I was right. Let's see how close I can get. Don't want to knock anything over. Reload. Damn it. Now they're on alert, I'm sure. No, I think I'm still okay. Oh. Good if I could see. Oh shit, we got a suicider. Ah. Uh, on him. I don't think oh he might know where I am. Alright, kaboom. <laughs> Alright, the suiciders just but want to be one of the cool kids, don't they? Look at you now, buddy. The real cool kids are the ones that have the emotes. What am I even talking about? Yeah, there's definitely going to be some more around here. guys are pretty dumb but they do kind of just charge in willy-nilly so I'll try and sneak in the back the back door area out now. Shit. 
just what I needed. A combat knife, kinda. The other thing to consider is, uh, you wouldn't find him around here hanging around with these guys, but uh, there's a guy, a super mutant. He's got his head screwed on. Oh shit. He's got his head screwed on, not like these dumb bastards. Graham is, he's one of a kind. He's always got the wares. Ah, oh, shit. This guy's got the wares. Shit. Uh. I must be worried there for a second. You always got to keep an eye out for their pets. These guys always have pets, but I may have taken them out. All right, well, I think we've cleared this area out for tonight. I might just set up camp. What time is it? 5 a.m., jeez. Was it night time even? Bloody hell. All right, well, let's just get away from here a little bit. I don't want these guys stumbling onto my campsite. Around here looks pretty good. Well, that should do us. That should do us. Oh yeah. Have a look at this place. That's Batoga down there. I think that's my next stop. Something tells me there's some secrets down there. Time to have a bit of a kip. When I arrived at Watoga, it was eerily quiet. Cathena was the first human I'd seen all day. Boy, was she shaken like a bad martini. Desperate for help. And with what she said, I understood why. Seems the Scorch Beast numbers are rising, and along with them hordes of scorched critters ranging from the ex-human types to my lurks. And these things were jacked up and ready to annihilate anything unlike itself. It was time to call in the crew and scout the area, find out the true source of these scorched once and for all. Take that, bots. Attention, citizens. Uh, Nuclear that? strike imminent. Please exit the area Nuclear at your strike. earliest convenience. Thank you for your cooperation. Can't be. Possible. 
down, guys. Good job, good job. Let's clear the area. Radiation levels are pretty safe here at the moment.
Keep it up, team. She's coming around. Here, the scorch just keep coming. Oh, I got her. Oh. Go, go, go. Clean up, clean up. Dana, watch out! Holy shit. Clear the area, guys. Well done, well done. Yes! Bloody hell, look at this thing. We did it! Slow down now. Keep your guards up. Let's go, folks. Dreams, Lily. 